Okay then, so I'm going to show you how to apply cheats to your games library using RetroArch. If you've not yet subscribed, subscribe and hit notifications, it really helps my channel a great deal. Plus it gets you content for retro emulation as I release it. So I also uploaded a full setup guide for the latest release of RetroArch the other day, so check that one out if you haven't. So what we're going to do first then is obviously you need RetroArch installed, and I'm using the latest version of this which actually released the other day. Like I was just saying. Now I've got myself a library of Nintendo NES games here for an example and to apply cheats all we need to do is just go up to main menu for this and from main menu if you just scroll down to online updater and from online updater just scroll down until you find update cheats. Just download update cheats and let this extract and this is going to take a little while to extract itself. Now, while this is extracting, I'm going to go into my RetroArch folder and you'll notice inside your RetroArch folder, there's a cheats folder. Now, before I started downloading cheats, this would have been empty. And what this is doing right now is created a lot of folders inside of here. And for example, if I go down to Nintendo Entertainment System, which is what I'm going to be using to show you how to use cheats today. You're going to find lots of .cht files inside of here and this pretty much covers every Nintendo NES game out there. So obviously cheats aren't going to work for all systems that RetroWatch covers. So now we know where that's installed to and what we've actually extracted. What we're going to do is just run a game. So I'm going to go to my NES playlist and I'm going to select a game. So I'm going to select Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. A lot of people don't like that game, but uh, it's been with me since I was a little kid. So there. So I'm going to open up this game and I'm going to run it as you would do with RetroArch. Okay, so once you're inside of your game, just open up Quick Menu. And from Quick Menu, if you just scroll down to Cheats, if you just scroll down to load cheat file, it says replace, you can then find your Nintendo Entertainment System folder. And just remember, every folder you see here contains cheats. So say you're playing Nintendo 64 and you want to apply some cheats, then you'll do this for Nintendo 64. In my case, Nintendo Entertainment System. And here's the .chts that we just extracted. And obviously, I'm now going to need to look for that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. So here's my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cheat. So this is the US version. If I just apply that, it then also needs to go to apply after toggle. Just make sure that's turned on. And next, I'm going to just go down to apply changes. And just below it, we're going to start seeing the cheats there for this particular game. So we got reduced recovery time. If I use my D-pad, I can turn that on and off. I've got a walk drive through walls, which can be pretty handy for a game like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 99 weapons at a time. Pick up 99 missiles at a time. So obviously on your next world map on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, there's a lot of driving around in the turtle van in that, so that can come in handy. And we also randomly got a cheat here, turtle floats to ceiling when not moving. So I'm going to put this one on. We also randomly got a splinter is missing on info screen. So if you know this game, when you press start to select another turtle, splinter is going to be missing from that screen apparently. We also got infinite energy. Uh, randomly moonwalking. Really have no idea what some of these cheats are going to do, but... Uh, we've got enemies are frozen, but still with. So I'm going to just apply these for now. I think um, I've done enough cheats added to this. And I'm going to go to apply changes again. And if I just come out of here and go back into my game...
So I applied to Moonwalk and those little crab things, I'm presuming those are little robots from uh, Baxter Stockman's lab from all Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon episodes. You can see they're doing a moonwalk and we also got the turtle which is floating and I'm taking no damage because I applied that. And that's it, so applying cheats within Retro Arches really is that simple. Now just remember, I'm using a Windows 11 PC on this, so different versions of Retro Arch are obviously different. So if you're using another platform to use Retro Arch with, then those particular settings that I just applied might not apply to the version you might be using, say on Mac or a PSP for example. Anyways, if you liked today's little setup guide for retro arch and cheats, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content that I release every day. Also join me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.